YouTube welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a Sims 4 base game only build there's no CC no expansion packs no anything this is just made with the Sims 4 base game and the reason I wanted to do a build like this is because I hear a lot of times people say that you can't really make anything good with you know base game only you have to get the expansion packs if you want to be able to build something nice and Really, that's just not true. Now, I will admit that the expansion packs can bring some more elements to your builds if, you know, that's what you want. But they are by no means required to make a pretty build. Um, and I think this house came out very pretty. Um, but yes, like I said, this is only base game. There is no CC. There are no expansion packs used. So if you have the game, you can use this house. Um, so I, I struggled with the roofing here on this part a lot more than I care to admit. But I wanted to do something a little different. Kind of like I, I've seen uh, kind of like a McMansion from the 90s, but also kind of a catty cornered house. I don't know how else to explain that. And I really struggled with the roofing right here. And the solution ended up being so simple that I'm just, I'm, I'm so, oh, I'm so upset that I struggled this long with that roofing. But uh, the solution was to just pull the house back a little bit and the roofing worked out fine. Um, but yes, so let's talk about my autism awareness shell challenge that I'm doing this month for the month of April uh, we have as of last I checked I believe we have three entries now for that shell challenge I will leave a link up above to if you are interested in doing that but yes and those entries are very nice all all three of them look fantastic um, and, and it's always really interesting to me to see what other people do with shells because you can, especially with a puzzle shell like I did, you can take a puzzle shell and do so many different things with it. And they, they've they kind of done, you guys have kind of done that with your submissions. Um, you know, there's a magic house, there's um, two just normal residential houses, but they, they're very different and they both look amazing so it's it's very it's very interesting to see how these shell challenges go um this shell challenge is going through the rest of the month of april uh 2021 if you're watching this in the past um but yes the deadline for it is april 30th 2021 um again i'll link my video above telling all about that um, and yes, it's very fun. The winner of the shell challenge will receive a either a game pack or two stuff packs of their choice. Um, just however it ends up uh, being twenty dollars is the price of the uh, twenty American dollars is the price of the stuff packs. So that's that's the end goal. However, you decide to do that if you do two stuff packs or one game pack or I wish we could gift kits. I'm kind of hoping that by the time April ends we will be able to gift kits because I'd kind of like to include kits. I'm not a big fan of kits but at the same time you know it's up to you whatever your reward is. But yes so the outside of the house is finally coming along. I fixed the catty corner roof area so I'm I'm getting into the outside and I'm I'm a little proud of this build because I I really have not built much with base game only up until this point and I, it was harder there are some things that like decoration wise I wish I would have had um to kind of you know put in there but at the same time I think it came out looking pretty nice um and like I said I kind of wanted to go a little bit over the top with this house because again I wanted to show that it is completely possible to build a nice home with just base game um and I I think it came out all right I think it came out looking pretty good but yes so what else is new in my life? Um, well, I have started a vegan diet. And the reason I started that was my wedding anniversary is on April 1st. Uh, yes, my husband and I got married on April Fool's Day. I, we literally did it at a courthouse because, um, yeah, courthouse cost us $50. And I insisted we wore blue jeans and flip-flops. And that is how we got married, in blue jeans and flip-flops at the courthouse um, on April Fool's Day. 
But anyway, there's a running joke between my husband and I that on our wedding anniversary, he has to take me to a steakhouse. And that's the only reason I've been with him as long as, no, not really. That's part of the joke. But the joke is, oh, oh gosh, how bad would that be if the only reason I stayed with someone was for a steak? Oh my gosh. But anyway, the running joke is that on our anniversary, he has to take me to a steakhouse. Um, so he does, in, with the exception of 2020, because, you know, coronavirus, but uh, COVID numbers have lightened in our area, um, you know, vaccines have been coming out, so this year we felt it was a little safer to go to a steakhouse, so he held up to his word, he took me to a steakhouse, and um, the steak was good and everything, I, I, this is like the one time a year I get a steak, so I went all out, um, I got a huge steak, um, I got a Oh, what kind of drink was it? I got a mango margarita, and it was actually very good. But anyway, after eating this really good, I mean, the food itself wasn't bad, meal, I just got terribly sick. And it made me feel so bad. One, because, you know, I was sick. You know, nobody likes to be sick. But also, it was my anniversary, and I was spending it sickly. And I just knew it was related to somehow, in some way, to that meal I ate and it didn't really feel like food poisoning I don't I don't feel like there was anything wrong with the food so I started doing some research and I said well you know I I need to figure out why I'm feeling so sick because I've I've been feeling kind of sickly after I've eaten for a little while now so it it's not like a new problem or anything but this was I guess because it was my anniversary is kind of what made me realize, okay, this might be a problem. Um, so I decided um, I was just going to try an elimination diet at first. And I thought, well, you know, I just had this big steak. And, you know, it that's when my problem started. So maybe my problem is with animal products. So I decided, okay, I'll, I'll go vegan for a week or two and see how I react. And then, you know, I can slowly add things back in if it's working so I can try to figure out the root cause. So I've been on a vegan diet since April 2nd. And uh, today, right now, as I'm voice recording this, is April 14th. And I honestly feel so much better. I don't know what it was because it may not have been, you know, all animal products. I'm going to eventually slowly add animal products back in, you know, to see if I can find out exactly what it was that was causing me the problems. But I feel so much better. Um, I'm able to wake up in the morning, which says a lot because normally I am like a zombie in the morning. Like it, you have to drag me out of bed, but I'm able to wake up in the morning. I have way more energy. Um, I don't feel anywhere near as sick. Um, I've lost a few pounds, um, not a whole lot, but I have lost some weight. So yes, this is kind of new for me, um, living a vegan lifestyle, but it is helping with um, some of the problems I've been having and I feel a lot better now. So uh, do I think I'll be do this forever? Probably not. Uh, that's nothing against it. I've been playing around with the food honestly and I've found some really great foods that I like um but um I do still like my steak <laughs> so I I don't think I will do this forever but for right now I'm just enjoying not feeling bad <laughs> um and I didn't realize how bad I was feeling until I eliminated this but eventually I will have to slowly add stuff in to figure out exactly what it was that has been making me sick all this time but yes yeah, so that's that's new for me um back to the build I'm working on the kitchen right now um I kind of wanted to play around with the cabinets and stuff because like I said I wanted this build to to look really nice I wanted to go kind of all out on this build and see what I could do with it and I just love these cabinets um especially the ones with the plates I do kind of wish that maybe we had a few different options with the cabinets. So, cause like, okay, with the ones where you can see the plates and stuff in, they all look the same. It's all the same plates. I, it would be kind of nice if we could maybe get those swatches, but different kinds. So like maybe one has plates, maybe another has glasses, uh, stuff like that, but all the cabinets match, which I, I know that's maybe being a little, 
a little extra critical of it, but it would just be nice to have. Um, I end up deciding to put like a small uh, bar table area right here because I kind of felt like that fit best with the kitchen. I do go back and experiment with actually with putting an actual real bar right there where that um, counter is, but I decided it didn't quite look right. So I originally wanted that little nook over there by the back door. As I was building it in my mind, I said, oh, okay, that can be where the laundry goes. And I had completely forgotten that, hey, laundry's not base game. Um, so, like I said, I don't play with, I don't build with just base game often, but I'm I really kind of happy I did this time because it, it took me a little bit out of my comfort zone, and I think the builds came out really great. So, it, that was fun, but yeah, that's kind of why there's that awkward corner back there because... I legit just forgot, hey, there's no laundry. Um, so I didn't know what to do, so I just put a table over there. <laughs> um, I did make this a two-bedroom house, which, um, you know, I probably could have maybe squeezed in some more bedrooms if I had designed it a little better. But um, at the same time, I thought this kind of felt good. And I we have bunk beds now, so more than one kid can live in that bedroom. So that, that worked out in the bunk beds are a base game so it still works with the base game putting some of those posters up I am so excited over the swatches of the poster the new swatches for the posters we got in that update I know that's forever ago but I I am I am just so so excited about it it's uh anyway um so yeah um decorated the room very much a little girl's room um yeah I played with the idea of using that Van Gogh bed. Um, I've just never used it before, and I think it looks so cool, but I eventually decided this wasn't the build for it. Um, putting my bathrooms in. Again, I am not putting sinks in my bathrooms until the Sims can learn to not do their dishes in there. Um, that's that's just my opinion on it, and I understand maybe I'm Maybe I'm being a little overboard with that, but no, I'm I'm certain I'm not putting a sink in my bathrooms until that gets fixed, and that just probably means my bathrooms will never have sinks, but honestly, I don't think too many people are going to miss them in the game, so that's that. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to come up on the end. Um, like I said, I really try to make this house look and feel really, really nice, because um, like I said, I, I wanted to show that you can do so many cool things with base game only like I mean don't get me wrong I love my expansion packs I would never give my expansion packs up or my game packs or my stuff packs or anything like that but at the same time they're not required to make a nice build in this game and I I feel like this kind of accomplishes that I I you know it's maybe not the best build in the world because I am by no means that awesome of a builder in The Sims 4 but um it's it does the job and it's nice so I'm I'm thinking about right now I'm going through the debug menu picking out some debug stuff to kind of add the clutter up but I kind of forget about those bottles and um I think I uploaded them to the gallery like that but yeah so you don't need tons of expansion packs. I mean, look at that living room. Seriously, look at that living room. That is gorgeous. Like, this whole house is gorgeous. I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn because, like I said, it could have definitely been done better. I am not the world's best builder. But for base game only, this looks nice. This could be a really fun, playable house with a family and stories and events and it could be a nice, wonderful home. And that's the point I wanted to get across, that you don't have to have expansion packs or stuff packs or anything like that in order to make a good house. And that's what I feel this is. But yes, so that is the end of this video. Don't forget about my shell challenge. And I am also doing a fundraiser for the Organization for Autism Research. I'll leave information for that down below. And yes, I will see you next time.